How's it going everybody? This is Luke from Coffee House, back again with another equipment review. I know I said I'd be doing less of these, but there's so many new products coming out in the coffee world that I just feel the need to get my hands on them, and here we are again. Today we have the Fellow Tally Scale here, and the Fellow Tally is Fellow's first scale in their coffee equipment lineup. Directly designed to compete with other high-end scales, I think Fellow is taking an interesting stab at companies like Akaya, who pride themselves in making amazing coffee scales. I was really interested to see a product like this because I have been asking myself for an Akaya competitor for so long. And so the question is, is this the answer? Is this the competitor to the Akaya scale, the famous Akaya scale, the Lunar and the Pearl specifically? Uh, let's jump into what I think about this. Let's jump into a bit of an overview, you know, how to use it, everything like that, the materials, the cost. And uh, then at the end, I'll tell you my opinions and everything like that. Let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, first things first is a disclaimer. Um, there is no disclaimer. Uh, I actually bought this scale with my own money. I did not ask Fellow to send me one. Uh, they did offer to send me a scale, but I wanted to give a fully unbiased review here. I was interested in buying one of these. We needed some extra scales in the roasting facility for weighing out bags and things like that. So. Uh, I was definitely interested in getting my hands on one and I got one just like everybody else did. I didn't get it early. I didn't get paid to do it. I didn't get a free one, anything like that. So yeah, this is my actual, true, unbiased opinion about the scale. The fellow tally here is $185, so right up in the vein of Akaya where the Pearl S is $220. The base Pearl, which I don't recommend, is I think $150 at this point. And then the Lunar is 250, which is kind of their flagship, you know, the smaller espresso one. So the Fellow Tally is made of a couple different materials here. The top plate, which is actually removable, is a nice like kind of metal top coated piece, uh, and plastic on the bottom. And this locks into a base that is very similar to other Akaya products, like the other Pro Studio Editions. I'll get into the names later, which is kind of like a glass-like top on the top, a uh, little metal button, and then some buttons that also have like that glass-like finish on them. One thing I do not love though is this right here, the glass like top is a piano black like in cars and it leaves very, very ugly fingerprints on there all the time. So I can just do this with my thumb and it's super, super fingerprinty and messy. And I really don't love the, uh, that look. I've always liked the kind of like matte metal finish that the Lunar has. And the matte metal finish is here. It's on this top plate here. I don't know why they didn't do the whole thing like that. As for the controls of the Fellow Tally, you have a, a very familiar metal little scroll wheel here. You have a new button up here, which allows you to cycle through the actual settings. And then you have one big button here, which is to stop and start your timer. I think this big button is probably because of like manufacturing simplicity. Although this button is like way too big in my opinion, I would have almost put the, like the settings button here and maybe the timer here, I don't know. Anyways, we'll talk about the settings as we go through the menu and my opinions on them. But that's kind of like the layout here other than like a USB-C charger right on the top. As for the settings, you have three main modes. You have a weight mode, which is obviously weighing your coffee and you can switch between milliliters, grams, ounces and pounds, which is nice. I do like the pounds, but the one thing I don't understand is the milliliters function. I think the milliliters function might be a little misleading to people who don't understand that only water is one-to-one -one with milliliters and grams. So I don't know if I would have opted to put milliliters on there, but I understand the intention there. I do like the pounds feature though, because this scale does go up to 2,500 grams, which is about five plus pounds, which is usable, especially if you're making large volume like food or something like that, you know, pasta, adding flour. I think that's a nice little touch. Then you have brew assist mode, which is a essentially ratio built in. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna set your ratio, let's say my ratio is one to 16. Then when I put the grams of coffee in there, it will tell me how many grams of water. Uh, a great education tool, but I'll get into where I think education tools and integrations within this uh, architecture lie a little bit later in the video. And then the last setting you have is you have a timer mode, which obviously is just uh, your weight and a time, just like the uh, Akaya scales or anything like that. A quick note too is in the timer mode and the uh, brew assist mode, you can only use grams. So even if I wanted to use ounces or milliliters, um, you cannot use those in any other setting but the actual weight setting. And then on this button over here, this is how you start and stop the timer. I almost wish they didn't put this like little decal on it, um, the little stopwatch on there. I thought it was a sticker that I would be able to pull off, but it's not. It's a, a printed on like little decal there. 
and mine is like about five degrees counterclockwise to where it should be. It doesn't sit perfectly straight and it doesn't sit like almost perfectly in the center. It's like one degree off of the center. So it's kind of frustrating to look at all the time. So I know this was like an early one, so that's one thing, but it's just something to note, like it doesn't look flawless. And that's why I kind of kept trying to like pick at it to see if it was a little label on there. Same with the uh, settings button, which I, it's just three dots. I don't really hate that one, but uh, I would have been able to figure it out with just these two buttons. You know, I don't need the decals there to help me along the way. I'm gonna take a quick little intermission here to show you how to access the game built into Fellow Tally here. This fellow is always known for putting in little games into their infrastructure, so I'm gonna show you how to get into that now. So what we're gonna do is go to the Brew Assist mode and go ahead and scroll that wheel to all the way over to the right, and then it's gonna say one of 42 as a brew ratio, which probably like an inside joke or something at fellow, don't really understand the one to 42 ratio. But anyways, you're gonna click the stopwatch button and it will take you to Jumpy, which is a fun little game where you can go ahead and jump over what looks like little Atmos uh, glass canisters and you are a little guy with a bow tie and feet and that is about it. Um, it is cool that they're like utilizing these fun little features but uh, my record right now is 24 and I'm gonna see if I can beat it on camera right now. I didn't. There's there, Every time you get to 24 in the game there's a obstacle that I think is completely not passable. It's where two of the Atmos cups are next to each other, and I think it's quite literally impossible to pass 24, so if you buy the scale and you pass 24, leave a comment down below because I've done it like 20 tries and I still haven't passed it, so maybe it says something about me or maybe it says something about the scale, but it is uh, a challenge that I've faced in the game. Back to reality, what I want to talk about is why I think Fellow made this and my opinions on where Fellow has been recently. Um, ultimately, I think I understand that they wanted to compete with Akaya, and in the lineup of this brew bar that they built, the scale was the missing puzzle piece. They've always needed a scale. They've had the brewers, they've had the grinders, they've had all of this architecture, and they needed a scale. So I understand they're finishing the puzzle there. But what I fail to understand with Fellow's lineup is why they're not trying to reach out to a larger, more generalized population. If you look at companies like the X Bloom, which is that automatic brewer, we're doing a review on that soon, I think they do a really good job at understanding that, okay, there's a lot of people who enjoy coffee, but won't ever be that person who weighs it out and does all of this stuff, all of this ritual in front of us to make that cup of coffee. They get why people do it, but they're really not gonna do it at the end of the day. They don't care that much, like many of us don't care about other things that people nerd out about. So what they did is they solved a problem that I think everybody agrees with. I think the consensus in not only the specialty coffee industry, people like this, but the people who are regular coffee enjoyers, I think they understand that yes, fresh roasted coffee is the best. And yes, freshly ground coffee is the best. So companies like that are automating the rest of the stuff so you don't have to think about dosing and grinding and nailing down all of these parameters and chasing this deep rabbit hole. Where Fellow, what they're doing is, in my opinion, building this kind of ecosystem where their products work in synchronicity with each other, but really everything isn't really perfect. And I think there's a problem there because Fellow is trying to work and trying to bring in new people into this ecosystem but it's looking like a lot of these products are starting points for people to move up. So Fellow, while people are buying them, I don't know how long they're retaining these products. Obviously, there are still no serious competitors to the EKG Kettle and the Pro Studio Edition, but there are a lot of competitors in the grinder space and the scale space. So when they come out with a Fellow Opus Grinder, which is 195 bucks, great starting point. People are, I think, almost expected to leave that fellow opus quickly and move on to something better. And I'm curious why the fellow tally exists when I think it also exists in that same kind of lineup. I think a lot of people who purchase the tally are still going to be wanting an Akaya because I think the Akaya is the next step up from the fellow tally. Yes, it has a nice responsive LCD. Yes, it looks good, everything like that but it's definitely not going to wait for espresso. I can't put this under any type of espresso machine. And two, it's really not as nice as the other ones. Obviously, 
a little less expensive. Pearl S being 220, Lunar being 250. But is 35 or 65 dollars really going to deter you from buying the right one the first time around? I don't know. I get why this is here, and it's a great pour over slash drip scale but it really doesn't do all that much else than any of the other ones. And personally, I like that the Akaya features like the timer and things like that are hidden and you have to kind of know them where this kind of lays it out right there. For me, in a coffee world, I'm not using like a brew assist mode, so to have it so prevalent in something like this, fellow is designing this to inadvertently kind of place themselves in the beginner category, which I think for me, if they want to create products with staying power, they might want to look at an ecosystem of products that are very, very refined. And I think this is their end game scale, given the name. Recently, when they released the new version of the EKG, the EKG Pro, they also came out with the EKG Pro Studio Edition, which I don't really understand the name scheme, which I think it's just kind of crazy. I don't know why they said anything like that. But this is the Tally Pro Studio Edition, which features a lot of the similar touch points, the metal button, this glass-like top. But that makes me think that they're going to make cheaper versions of this. If they're designing their products for an entry-level position, I think coming out with things like this doesn't really make a lot of sense for me since it's so closely tied to the end game scale. But if this is the Pro Studio Edition and they plan on having cheaper ones, I think those will be more relevant to the coffee market that they find themselves in because of the price point versus the quality matrix. I think Fellow is really capable of making good, cheap products, but I'm curious to see where their head is at. Do, how do they want to be perceived in the marketplace? Do they want to be perceived as kind of like the entry level brand, a little cheaper, a little easier to bang up and then dispose of? Or are they the company that wants to be very premium, very high end? Do they want to invoke a sense of premium feeling products like Akaya, which only makes products like that? You've only seen Akaya go up in quality if you looked at the original Pearl versus the Pearl S. The Pearl S is significantly better than the Pearl. So I'm curious what Fellow plans on doing in the future. So as for the scale, I think obviously everybody deserves to have a nice scale in their kitchen, but is this the right one? Is this going to replace an Akaya scale? Is this going to be a worthy competitor? I don't know if it's exactly that. I still personally prefer the touch points and the feel of all of the Akaya products over the Fellow products but I understand in the ecosystem that this makes sense. So they can bundle this. If you're buying on the website an EKG Pro Studio Edition, you look at this and you're like, man, I could set it right next to it and it's gonna look so good. It's gonna be perfectly integrated with my setup. So yes, that's obviously going to work great. And I think Fellow, in the way that they're churning out products so fast, I think this just made all the sense to them. So is the Fellow Tally Scale worth it? Obviously, you've heard my opinions, but I'm also curious to hear yours. So please leave a comment down below, and I do read all of those. So I would appreciate any feedback, not only on the fellow scale, but also how we're doing here at Coffee House, what you'd like to see in future videos, everything like that. And as always, I appreciate you tuning in. I'm Luke from Coffee House. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. So the fellow tally... Girl. So the... <laughs>